Hello everyone and Happy New Year! I hope you are as excited for 2022 as I am because I want to spend the day setting goals, getting organized, and planning out my life now that we have begun a new chapter. Grab your notebook and plan along with me or sit back and get ideas for your planner while watching me update mine for the new year. Before I start in the actual planner, I have some organizing I need to do. I've been keeping all of my letter writing and planner supplies in this box and as you can see, it's hard to keep it tidy and organized. But for Christmas, I got this amazing tote made by Happy Planner. I love it because it has these removable and adjustable dividers inside and it's going to make carrying my stuff up and down the stairs so much easier. So first, let's get started by transferring over my supplies and then we'll get the coffee going. By the way, if you are new to my channel, I want to take a moment to welcome you and introduce myself. My name is Melissa and I post videos that help you with cleaning and decluttering motivation, as well as content about Bath & Body Works since I was a manager there for about 6 years. I also love all things cozy, aesthetic, and I love to decorate for all of the holidays, gardening, cooking, and living life with my four cats. If any of these topics interest you, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Just so you know, I will try to link the planner supplies I have in the description box below in case if you see anything that you want to purchase. So first things first, I'm going to clean up the old pages in my planner and move them to the back where I have a place to store them. I like to keep the ones I've spent a lot of time designing because I do often refer to them to use as templates. There are a few trackers in there that I also need to finish filling out before I move them to the history section. Also glancing through, I'm getting a good idea of what pages I want to make today. I know for sure I want to make a year at a glance spread, just like a big annual calendar. I also like making a page for each month so I can have a monthly reminder section and goals written on them. I also know that I'd like to make a reading tracker and a workout tracker. Then last, I know I need to make a page for video ideas for my YouTube channel as well as an upload schedule. This is my 2021 reading tracker, and up until recently, I've not been big on reading, so I'm really proud of how I did this year. One of the books I'm currently working through is this adorable treasury of Christmas stories, poems, and carols. I started two books in mid-December that I will need to transfer onto my new tracker that I will be making. I just finished The Chamber of Secrets, and I'm moving on to the third book of the Harry Potter series, Prisoner of Azkaban. To start off my year at a glance spread, I'm just mapping out in pencil a general idea of how everything is going to fit on the page. When I was working on getting my music degree in college, I learned the joys of using graph paper and a straight edge in music theory class, so those are my ride or die supplies. I know bullet journals are really popular too, and it's kind of the same concept except with little boxes instead of dots. Once I've chosen a color scheme for my colored pencils and stickers, I'm just going to jump right in making a calendar for each month.
All right, so that's all done. Now I'm going to flip to the other side and make sort of a cover for it. Then off camera, I went ahead and finished the other half doing it the same way as I did the first half. Now I'm going to work on making a page just for January. On my month pages, I like having a little section of my favorite songs that I've been listening to, as well as the body care fragrances I've been wearing. I'm a nostalgic person and I like being able to look back in time at my old pages and remember what things were like during that time, and having memories of different sensories like sound and scent help kind of enhance those memories and make them stronger. Time for the reading tracker. I already told you a little bit about what I'm currently reading. My reading goal is to read 32 books this year. Last year I read, I think it was 28 books, and I didn't have a specific goal then. Leave me a comment down below what you're currently reading, and if you have a reading goal, what is it? So on this page, I keep track of the book I'm reading, who it's written by, and when I start and complete the book. Then on the other page, I'm using my old tracker as a template to draw on a little bookshelf with 32 books on it. Then when I complete a book, I color it in. I am someone who's highly motivated by little rewards like checking off boxes, using stickers, and that kind of thing, so I think it's fun to track my reading this way. Once again, I think it's fun to look back on past pages and see what I was reading back then. Next up, I'm going to make a simple list of a brain dump of video topics. I'm keeping the page minimalistic layout-wise so that I can keep adding to it as I think of ideas. I also left a poll on my community tab asking you all what types of videos you wanted to see from me, so either go find that poll and vote, or let me know in the comments below this video what kinds of videos you want to see from my channel. Once I finish my brain dump list, I'm going to transfer over all of the video ideas that I plan on pursuing first onto my filming and uploading schedule. Last but not least, I'm going to make a page each month dedicated to fitness goals. I've always been one to have getting in shape as one of my New Year's resolutions, and for the first time I actually saw some success during the summer, and it was when I was using my planner to track my workouts and measurements. So now that I know what works for me personally, I want to get back into doing what I was doing over the summer now that the holiday treats are coming to an end. Okay, now for the grand reveal so that you can get a good close-up look at each page that we made together. 
When we first open it up, it's on the current monthly page with all of my reminders and important dates to remember for January. Then we flip to the year at a glance calendar next. Then I have my password page, which I'm skipping so I don't get hacked. Next, I have my YouTube section, which first has my filming and upload schedule. Next page over has my video topic ideas. Then I've got my analytics page, which I have yet to update, so that's just a project for another day. Next, we have the fitness tab where I color in what kind of exercise I've done for the day, starting on the third, because I know that's when I'm going to officially get back into working out. I also have a little water tracker here. Then last, I have my 2022 reading tracker with my goal of 32 books. On the left is the book information, and on the right is where I color in a book each time I complete one, so it makes a pretty colorful bookshelf. And we're all done! Thanks so much for joining me today in this planning session. I hope it helped you think up of some New Year's goals, or some ways to keep yourself accountable for reaching them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye!